Hey everyone, Miro here. Welcome back to What the Fuck Wednesday with Downfall. Uh, last episode, we found the other two Sophies that we need to get rid of, uh, along with the one that's over here in this room to the right. Um, we reunited with Agnes. We met a douchebag named Harrison, and we're gonna go raid his room. Looks like it's 203. Um, second floor. So let's go do that. So I'm, I'm guessing at this point um, that Sophie is in a lot of ways like Ivy and has a issue with her figure, right? Which is what drove Ivy to bulimia. Um, but in Sophie's case, it sounds like she took to binge eating, perhaps? Um, and that's why the Sophies get progressively fatter as we see them busting it. Wow, his room is shit. Anything good? Dresser. We've got, oop, nope. Exam a book, open drawer. There's a torn page sticking out of the book. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, exam drawer. Hmm, some sticky tape and some money. <laughs> take everything, duh. So now we have some money to get some more cigarettes for that dude with his own money because our money didn't work. And I think it's like around the corner. Yeah, right here. Oh, I have to... Oops. There we go. And we get two packs. Finally. Nope, just the one. Rude. Okay. Pick up. Okay, let's read this note. Lady in a hat, always watching, always smiling. Make her not see blind the bitch. Oh, okay. I'm assuming they're talking about that horrendous painting out near the ballroom. Or whatever you want to call that event room. I guess we'll head back up there and give him a smoke and see what happens. Come on, Agnes, honey. Oh yeah, we uh, last episode pretend to be Agnes's boyfriend to get her away from the douche hole. There's not even any elevator music. Yeah, this painting. Let, uh, stick the button eyes, maybe? Oh, you know what? I bet the castor oil. I think that's used to remove paint. No? No. Never mind. Safe, then? I don't know why we're doing this, but okay. Oh, shit! Alright. I'll go through the secret passage. What's this Harrison dude up to? Oh man, there's a sketch door. All right. Oh. Bottle of gin, not really my sort of drink. Guess we'll take it anyway. Oh, Agnes. Sweet girl, hiding her face. Have I seen this one before? No, that's impossible. So, this is why he never came back. Oh, this is the doctor! Oh, shit! Alright. Oh, poor Agnes. Alright, well, now we have a saw for some reason. Oh, maybe we can use it to kill the fourth Agnes. The really grotesque, scary one. Hey, you wouldn't have a a cigarette, would you? I'm all out, and I'm fucking dying for a smoke. Oh, I guess, okay. <laughs> Just smoke it in front of him. Cigarette? Oh, fuck yeah. Hey man, you can't smoke here. See that sign? Are you for real? Who gives a shit? Look. 
He'll just trigger off the fire alarms and the sprinklers. Do we really want to get drenched? Well, that would ruin my hair. Oh, of course. There's a bathroom just there. Go smoke in the bathroom. Now that's a great idea. Laters. I like how we're not going to mention that uh, there's also a no smoking sign in that bathroom. Um, so, he's going to go smoke in there. I feel like if we go back downstairs and turn the gas on, we can blow him and that Sophie to kingdom come. Uh, except I don't remember, I don't remember how to get downstairs. Probably not through the kitchen, but I want to see if there's anything in here. I wonder why we would need a blender. There's a pig in the ice room. I remember that much. We took some ice to get the brain. Um. Okay, we can't go out the front door. How the hell did we get to... Oh, yeah, that's right. It's this weird room in the stairwell. It doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, no wonder I didn't remember. The shadow is still... Not okay. We lost Agnes. I guess she doesn't want to see where her brain came from. That's cool. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Dude wants his brain back? Bring it back? What is that supposed to mean? Well, I did take something from him. What? You don't want to know. Can you give it back? No. Now he's being a bitch about it. But isn't he dead? Somehow it didn't stop him from pulling that lever back. And I've got a feeling he'll do it again and again. So if you can't give him what he wants, then maybe we can bring him something else instead. Yeah. Let's look around for a replacement. Oh, I got it. I got it. Back to the kitchen. We're gonna give him a little bit of a uh, piggy brain, I think. I hope we can use the saw in multiple ways because I don't want to waste it. It's such a good weapon. To the kitchen. I was thinking maybe we'd blend him up a weed cocktail. Poor piggy. Aww. Don't start feeling sorry for it. It was born to die. Pigs are really intelligent, you know. Their brains are very similar to ours. A pig is a pig. That's all it is. Alright, let's try this. Yup. Oh my god! Was it still alive? Oh my lord. Alright. I wonder what we're supposed to put in that pot. Surely not the blender. Maybe castor oil and weed together for some reason? I don't know what that would make. We've got options. <laughs> We'll figure it out as it comes to it. Alright, dude. Uh, actually, we might have to be closer. Big gaping hole where his brain used to be. Agnes is making much better use of it. I can't return it. Maybe I'll find another brain. Okay, I guess we don't have to look closer. Here you go. There. I've brought it back. I wonder if he was one of the dudes that was in the... What do they call it? Paradise of the Rotten Flesh? Or something? I've switched it on. 
Now, there should be a, an epic explosion. Lots of death. And Harrison gets what he deserves. Because he's a butthole. We might have to go... Um, third floor. We might have to go in and flip the knobs on the stove again. But I'm not exactly sure if we did that, how we would leave the room before shit goes bad. Who knows, maybe Harrison's done with his smoke. Yeah, he's not in here. So we must, okay, we must have to give him another one. Is this gas I smell? Don't worry, I've got it under control. Do we? Do you want another one? No, why the fuck not? I know, I know. This lady doesn't like the smoke. Uh, okay, bye. I'll be right back. Yeah, you, uh, you do that. It's happening. Yeah. I mean, oh no, Harrison. Joe. Don't die. Uh, it's true when they say that smoking kills. At least he went out with a bang. Now he's at the man he used to be. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, which pun do I want to use? I think the bang. At least he went out with a bang. Shut up, Joe. Just shut up. That was good and you know it, girl. Okay, let's go see what state this room has been left in. Oh. All right. Good God. Well done, Joe. I hope you're happy now. I... I had to do this. Yeah, yeah. I know. But did I tell you I'm allergic to human intestines splattered all around me? You are? Just do what you gotta do and tell me when we're out of here. And... Stay close, please? I wonder if we can get that gun in here now. Oh, girl. Is her dress gonna be red now? Oh, no. You all right? No, I'm not all right. What happened? I tripped over some legs. Harrison, always an asshole. <laughs> I don't really want to talk about it. Let's just go. There is no gun in here anymore, it looks like. Mind your head, Agnes. Ouch! I mean, I warned you. Coast clear yet? It depends. It depends? It depends on what? It depends on how you feel about severed human heads. Not that good, to be perfectly honest. Then keep your eyes shut. We're almost done here. So the wall has bitch scrawled across it everywhere. There's a human head. Oh. Recipe. Rotten human head, it seems to be looking straight at me. Eat me. Why would we take the head? This is crazy, but that message carved on its head, it makes me think I should use it for something. Oh my it's god, looking, no. Why? Is it okay to look now? No. No. Nothing to see here. Nothing at all. He just fucking stuffed a dead human head in his pocket, and we're gonna go blend it up and eat it. That's what's gonna happen. Oh, we're gonna take a lump of fat, too. All that's left of her is a lump of fat. Guess we'll take that. Probably have to boil that down. Just, uh, just some Harrison. Let's go see how this Sophie feels. Maybe we can talk to her about Harrison being half of a corpse in the hallway. Oh, no. 
look at me. Oh, nope, okay. Cannot converse with her. I don't know how we're gonna kill her. I mean, do we still have the saw? We have gin. Oh, let's read this recipe. My smoothie recipe. My fattening smoothie recipe, deep fried belly fat, one pint of castor oil, glass of spirit, one human head, oregano, one leaf. Blend it together and enjoy. So I think we have all of that. The oregano is going to have to be weed. I think. Oops. This isn't the floor I wanted. I could probably still get there from there, but I think the elevator would be faster. One more floor. Alright, Agnes, do you know how to cook? Oh my god, I hope she closed her eyes for this one. Wait, what'd that say? If I follow the recipe, I should be able to make that fattening smoothie here. So the recipe, did it say... Deep fried belly fat. So we have the belly fat, but we need to deep fry it. Hmm... It's empty, but I can use it for cooking. The recipe I found mentions deep fried belly fat. We don't have any oil. Can we use the castor oil for it, maybe? Yep. Wasn't sure for so a second it would cooking us dinner let me. Now? No. It's not for us. Oh, good. Good. Because they're not really meant to fry things in castor oil, you know. No. I think I'll try anyway. <laughs> she knows what's up. Okay. Um, the fat. Oh, the oil's cold. Oh, oops. We have to. There. Cool. Nice bubbly oil. Take deep fried fat. It's hot, I can't just stick my hand in it. Hey, I found the spork in the house with all the coffins. You might want to use it for whatever you're doing there. Nice. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Now, oh, gross. Oh, we can't turn that off? That's just going to go forever now? Okay, well. Put that in. And some of that. And a little bit of that. This is exactly how grandparents write recipes. It's typically like, you put a pinch of this in, and a splash of that, and a dash of this. And it's never like good, precise measurements that are helpful. Just uh, don't mind me putting a head. But that head even flipped. What you doing there, Joe? Mm-mm. -mm. C cooking. Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. I'm just doing what needs to be done. You don't want to know. <laughs> cooking. Is that is that a human head? Mm mm. I'm just following a recipe. <laughs> this poor girl. Oh God.
How long does it take to make this smoothie? I'm... I'm sorry for freaking out like that, but that grinding noise... It was too much. I mean, I feel like that's the normal human reaction when you're blending a severed head. I know, but remember we're doing this for Ivy. Pull your stuff together. We've seen worse things here. This is our best shot. We've got to take it. Pull yourself together. We've seen worse things here. We have. Yeah, I know. The bathroom upstairs is still number one on the list. Yep. Come on, then. And don't forget to take your smoothie. The bathroom upstairs. You mean the bloodbath we just created? Yeah. Take the smoothie. Alright, I think I think we're gonna go feed this to the uh skinny ivy, because it's like the fattening up recipe or something like that, right? Uh, nope, this way. God, that noise is horrid. Oh, fuck. She's not here. Great. Maybe she got spooked by the explosion in the bathroom. No. Not spooked. Did you notice that Harrison's body went missing from the home? Oh, God. I bet it's got something to do with her. You think she took it? But where? Hospital, Harrison's room, her room to bury him. Probably Harrison's room. The one on the second floor? There's only one way to find out. Let's go. I will bet money that we are going to find her eating Harrison. For some reason that seems right up the what the fuck alley for this game. Uh, second floor. He was in 203, if I remember right. Oh, Ivy. oh, Ivy. You're alive. What's wrong with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. No, it's Ivy just there on the floor. I think I'm going crazy. It's because I have. That's because I have. Come on. You're not the kind of guy who gets scared of ghosts. No. But that was different. It was Ivy. Right there. Definitely did not expect her to split into. I can't see anything. She was there. I know what I saw. You really love your Ivy, don't you? It's complicated. She wanted me to let her go, but I just couldn't do it. She wanted me to let her go. But I just couldn't do it. No matter what, I could never stop loving her. <sighs> the thing with us women is that sometimes we say one thing and mean exactly the opposite. Did you ever notice? Well, yeah, I guess. I wasn't there, so I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she didn't want you to go. Then I was right for once. Ha! I'd give you a medal if I had one, but I don't, so how about a fist bump? <laughs> sure. Sure. Thank thanks, Agnes. All right, well, now that we're done with our ghosts, let's continue on. Well, she's not eating Oh, him. it's you. Hello. Come in, come in. Oh, aren't you going to say hello, darling? We've got visitors. 
She's bad shit. You must forgive Harrison. He's feeling a bit poorly today. Sophie, the man is dead. <laughs> no worries, let him sleep. Uh, I don't want to get hysterical, so. Or maybe we do. We wanted to drink the smoothie. Nah. No worries. Let him sleep. Oh, I'm so excited. We've had a good talk, and he's promised to change his ways. Now, he will never walk away from me again. <laughs> har har. No, he wouldn't. He couldn't if he tried. Lucky you, I'm sure he wouldn't. I'm sure he won't. I've got something for you. Oh, how nice! What is it? I've found this recipe for a smoothie. <gasps> My secret recipe! Oh, I couldn't remember where I'd left it. Well, I've got it. Bitch, what are you doing with heads? Sweet. It's been one crazy day. I'm ravenous. I... I should be on a diet, but... I can stop them tomorrow, right? Just don't tell Harrison. Okay, girl. You, you got it. Wait, before I do this. You must forgive Harrison. It's really... Okay. Uh, actually, I want to look at her. She seems happier now. Well, uh, you know. Uh, maybe delusional, but sure. Happy. What? <laughs> Oh, that's so nasty. Mm, so good. Are you feeling all right? She's gonna get high as hell. Wait. I don't know. Left a funny aftertaste in my mouth. Do you add oregano? <laughs> oh. Oof. My stomach. I feel sick and bloated. What's happening to me? Uh-oh. Oh, I would get the hell out of that room. Oh. I definitely expected the opposite. We did what we had to do. Is it cracking in the shape of a person? All right, well that was brutal. So I guess if you add oregano, it makes you fatter. And if you add weed, it makes you puke out everything you're worth poor thing she wasn't fat at all uh oh Joe do you realize how hard it is to wash blood off these carpets <sighs> we just can't carry on like this it's time for a serious talk I'm headed back to my office upstairs please come and see me I have a proposition for you what if I'm not interested? You will be. Trust me. Joe, whatever she's got to say, do not trust this woman. Yeah? I just feel it. She's not a real person. Well, um, let's go ahead and end it here. And on the next episode, we'll go ahead, find out what the Temptress wants, and figure out some sort of plot to kill the last Sophie. Um, we haven't been left with very much, so I don't know how we're going to go about that. But thank you all so much for watching this episode of What the Fuck Wednesday. Um, this is coming out around the holidays, I think, so I hope you are all are having or had a wonderful holiday um and i hope it was a wonderful week as well and i will see you all next week for another what the fuck wednesday bye